welcome back to my workshop. Now even by my standards, this is going to be a bit of an odd project. But stick with it, I think you might enjoy it. Now I believe that some of the most romantic people in our society are us middle-aged men. Unfortunately, it's the middle-aged ladies who don't necessarily understand it. So every now and again, we have to make a grand romantic gesture. For those of you who've been in a relationship for many years, you will understand the problem. Every Christmas, birthday, anniversary, anything else you can think of, you need to produce a present. And not only has it got to be a present, it's got to be a meaningful present. Well, after you've been doing it for so many years, you run out of ideas of things to buy. Certainly a position I reached into many years ago. So what I started doing was I started making things. And what I noticed with my dearly beloved is that she started to treasure these things that I made out of all proportions to the amount of money it cost to actually make them. What a perfect idea. In the early days, I didn't think they were that good, but it was the best I was able to do at the time. Now I'm slightly better at it. I think she likes the early ones the best. I had the brainwave for this one a little while ago and I've been thinking about it for a while. I think it's quite a clever project. Because what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to carve something out of a piece of wood. And we can then use that as a wood carving. If you follow this video all the way through to the end and you start thinking about it slightly out of the box, even if you're not a wood carver, you'll discover all sorts of ways that you can reach the same end result but you may go a slightly roundabout route to get there. Doesn't matter. It's the end result that matters. Now in my particular instance, I'm going to do a wood carving because I fancy doing a wood carving. If I wanted to, I could give my dearly beloved the wood carving and I think she'd be rather pleased with it. But what I'm then going to do is I'm going to use the wood carving to make a mould and I can then turn things out of the mould. One option is you could cast some plaster of Paris into the mould and then you've got yourself an artwork. That'd be rather good, wouldn't it? Another option is you, once you've got the mould made, you could make a cake out of it. Now that I really do fancy. Or you could do all of that lot. You could have an artwork, you could have a wood carving and you could have a cake. And you could have a cake as often as you like because you've still got the mould. What a brilliant idea I hear you say to yourself. Trouble is, all Tom's got to do is he's got to carve it. If I'm being brutally honest, I can't even say I've got any talent as a woodcarver. But what I do think is I've got enough talent to be able to get me to where I need to in order to finish this project. And if I can do it, you can do it. So let's get started. So the first thing we need is something to carve. And this is a lovely piece of wood. And I've tried to make it easy for myself by using a piece of lime, sometimes called basswood, I believe, in other parts of the world. My dearly beloved likes flowers, in particular, she likes lily flowers. So I've printed myself off the internet a design. Made sure it's a copyright free design. And these are the flowers that I'm going to try and carve onto my block of wood. Now I had an, un an old uncle of mine, alas no longer with us, who was a wood carver. And his argument used to be that if you could draw it, you could then carve it. And I can sort of see where he's coming from. Because drawing is all about hand to eye coordination as he's carving. But I think I'm going to struggle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. And I've got a sheet of carbon paper. I'm sure it's called something else in other parts of the world. But in England, we call it carbon paper. And this is a technique I learnt earlier in the year when I was doing some lino cutting. So we place our design over the top of our block of wood with the carbon paper underneath it. And then we're just going to draw around. And then that will transfer the design onto the block of wood. So the moment of truth. Now I've edited the design ever so slightly as I've gone along because I don't actually want all of those leaves because that's more, more than I can probably carve. Well there you go. Well that's the design we're going to start with. I'm probably going to take out that little bit there. Um, because that's part of the leaves and we don't necessarily want that. Well, let's see what we could do to actually carve it. So the first job is probably to go around the outline slightly. Now, as you can see, I'm no wood carver. 
But that's not important. The important bit is I'm having a go. And I encourage you to do exactly the same. So I've got the basic outline carved out. And what I now need to do is to get rid of all this stuff. And really I want to get rid of it in a bit of a hurry. So I'm going to cheat. And this is where my old uncle the woodcarver would be turning in his grave. Um, but good thing he's not here to see it really isn't it. So I'm going to use a router. And I'm using the smallest router bit I've got. And it's set to about 6mm deep. Well, you can see where I'm going with this. I've obviously set it for a lot more than 6mm, but we, we need a bit of depth on it. So I'm just going to take all that lot out with the router. I'll go very slowly. It'll take a while, so come back and see me in a minute. Well, I think you have to know when to quit, and I think I've reached that point. Well, there you go. I don't think I'll ever make a living as a woodcarver. In my own little way, I'm rather pleased with that. Um, it's not the greatest bit of carving I've ever seen, but it's probably some of the best that I've ever managed, which just goes to show I'm not a very good woodcarver, but you've got to have a go at these things. So for our grand romantic gesture, once I've taken this off the backing board, um, I could just cover it with wax, give it to my dearly beloved, and there you are, she's got a very personalised present, and I'm sure she'd be absolutely delighted with it. The whole point of the exercise is to see if we can get several, several presents out of this one piece of work. So come back and see me again in the next video and we'll see what we can do with it.